Audiobook Academy Biography Presents. Galileo. The telescope was one of Galileo's many creations as a scientist and scholar in Italy. Modern physics and astronomy owe their existence to his groundbreaking discoveries. Genius Galileo was an Italian mathematician who made groundbreaking observations of nature that had a lasting impact on the field of theoretical physics, as well as philosopher and lecturer. He also built a telescope and endorsed the Copernican idea, which holds that the Sun is at the center of the solar system. For his opinions, Galileo was twice accused of heresy by the Church. He produced several volumes on the subject. Early Years Galileo Galilei was born on February 15, 1564, in Pisa, Italy, a city in the Duchy of Florence. Vincenzo Galilei, a well-known musician and music theorist, and his wife Giulia Amanati had six children, the eldest of them was Galileo. A transfer to Florence in 1574 saw Galileo begin his formal education in the Camaldolese Monastery in Vallombrosa, where he remained until 1580. Education Galileo began studying medicine at the University of Pisa in 1583. He quickly became attracted by a wide range of subjects, but mathematics and physics held a special fascination for him due to his exceptional intellect and unwavering ambition. Galileo was exposed to the Aristotelian view of the world while in Pisa which was the major scientific authority at the time and was sanctioned by the Roman Catholic Church. Galileo, like any other scholar of his time, initially agreed with this position and was on his way to becoming a university professor. He left the institution in 1585, however, because of financial troubles. Professing your proficiency. In the years following his graduation from the university, Galileo maintained his interest in mathematics by working as a part-time teacher. On the heels of this work came the little balance which explained hydrostatic principles for weighing small quantities and earned him considerable notoriety. In 1589, he was appointed a professor at the University of Pisa. Du Motu, On Motion, Galileo's famous book on falling objects, was written during this time and was a departure from Aristotelian concepts of motion and falling objects. Aristotle's harsh criticisms of Galileo left Galileo feeling isolated from his colleagues. His contract with the University of Pisa expired in 1592 and he was forced to leave. In a matter of days, Galileo had secured a new job teaching geometry, mechanics, and astronomy at the University of Padua. Due to his father's death in 1591, Galileo was left in charge of the care of his younger brother. It was during his 18 years at Padua that he offered entertaining lectures that attracted a huge audience and further increased his fame and feeling of purpose. Children. Galileo had three children with Marina Gamba, a Venetian woman around 1,600, Virginia, Livia, and Vincenzo. He never married Marina, possibly out of fear for his social standing being tarnished by his illegitimate children and or because of financial concern. Galileo had his daughters enter a convent when they were old enough because he feared they wouldn't be able to find a good husband. When Virginia and Livia became nuns in 1616 at the San Mateo convent, they took the names Maria Celeste and Sister Aracangela, respectively. Maria Celeste kept in touch with her father through letters till her death. No correspondence from Mercangela has been found. After his son's birth was legalized, he went on to have a successful career as a singer. Telescope This telescope was produced by Dutch eyeglass makers in July 1609, and Galileo quickly developed one of his own. In August, he showed it to some Venetian merchants, who immediately recognized its significance in navigation and detecting ships. Galileo was paid by the merchants to produce a large number of them. In the fall of 1609, driven by ambition, Galileo made the fateful decision to point his telescope upwards. Galileo's observations of the Moon and the discovery that Venus, like the Moon, circled around the Sun, refuting the Aristotelian idea that the Earth was the center of the universe, were among the many discoveries he made while exploring the cosmos with his telescope. He also discovered that Jupiter's moons were spinning, but not around the Earth. Observations of sunspots he made in 1613 disproved the Aristotelian theory that the sun was flawless. Books. A variety of books by Galileo were published, including The Geometrical and Military Compass, 1604, a work that showcased Galileo's aptitude for scientific experimentation and real-world application of new technology. The Starry Messenger, 1610, is a tiny pamphlet in which Galileo's discoveries on the shape of the moon's surface are detailed. When arguing that objects float because of their flat shape rather than their weight, Descartes wrote his Discourse on Bodies in Water, 1612, to reject the Aristotelian explanation for why this is the case. 
On the dialogue concerning the two chief world systems, 1632, a debate between three people, one who supports Copernicus's heliocentric explanation of the cosmos, another who denies it and a third who is neutral. Dialogues was plainly not neutral, despite Galileo's declaration. Advocating for Aristotelian belief, the advocate appears to be the ignorant one, tangled up in his own arguments. Galileo's life's work on the physics of motion and the strength of materials is summarized in two new sciences, 1638. Who discovered Galileo? Besides the telescope and his various discoveries in mathematics and science, Galileo also built a hydrostatic balance in 1604 to measure tiny objects. To round out his theories of movement and falling objects, he established a law of acceleration that applied to everything in the cosmos. In addition, he came up with a basic thermometer design. Thermometer. Even though Galileo did not design the basic glass bulb thermometer known as the Galileo thermometer, he used it to test his theory that liquid density changes as its temperature rises or falls. Like current thermometers, Galileo's thermoscope was a revolutionary invention. Liquids rise and fall in a glass tube when the temperature of the liquid changes. The Church and Galileo. After Galileo's telescope was completed in 1609, he began gathering evidence to support the Copernican idea that the Earth and planets orbit the Sun. In contrast, the Copernican idea defied Aristotle in the Catholic Church's long-established order. Copernican theory does not contradict biblical scriptures, Galileo wrote to a student in 1613, noting that scripture was written from an earthly perspective and hinted that science supplied a different, more correct one. According to analysts from the Church Inquiry, the Copernican idea is heretical. Copernicanism was banned in 1616 when Galileo was instructed not to hold, teach, or defend in any manner the theory. As a devout Catholic and as a means of making life easier, Galileo complied with the instruction for seven years. Cardinal Maffeo Barberini, a friend of Galileo, was elected Pope Urban VIII in 1623. For this reason, he authorized Galileo to continue his astronomical research as long as it was objective and did not endorse Copernican theory. As a result, Galileo published dialogue concerning the two chief world systems in 1632, in which he argued in favor of this hypothesis. Galileo was summoned to Rome by the Church as soon as possible. From September 1632 until July 1633, Galileo was the subject of Inquisition hearings in which he was accused of heresy. Galileo was never imprisoned and was treated with dignity for the majority of this time. Although Galileo first endorsed the Copernican idea, he eventually conceded that he did so privately, and that his views were right. He was imprisoned for the remainder of his life after being found guilty of heresy and sentenced to house arrest. After being told not to receive visitors or publish outside of Italy, he disregarded both orders. He released a French translation of his study of forces and their effects on matter in 1634, followed by copies of the dialogue in Holland a year later. Galileo composed two new sciences while under house imprisonment, which was published in Holland in 1638. Galileo's condition had deteriorated and he was now blind. As science progressed, the church couldn't ignore it. It lifted the prohibition on most writings supporting Copernican theory in 1758. The Vatican's resistance to heliocentrism was finally abolished in 1835. Several popes in the 20th century recognized Galileo's contributions, and in 1992, Pope John Paul II expressed remorse for the way the Galileo matter had been handled. Pope John Paul II. Death. On January 8, 1642, in Arstri, a town near Florence, Italy, Galileo died of a fever and heart palpitations after a long illness. In addition to his findings, Galileo made substantial contributions to our understanding of the cosmos through the methods he created and the mathematical proofs he provided. When the scientific revolution began, he played a pivotal role and was dubbed the father of modern science. Thank you for listening in Audiobook Academy. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button for more content like this, see you in next video.